hello children welcome back to the class so i am your social teacher and my name is mrs jyoti so we are in uh, lesson number 5 now so successfully we have completed four lessons and after the fourth lesson there is a review time so that also we have completed that is the worksheet and the class works you are doing practice book you are doing yes so let us move on to another lesson that is lesson number 5 So lesson number five is about our beautiful country, India. So in this, we are going to learn about India. What are the different land forms of India? How the land is going to be in India? Okay, what are the different climatic conditions and what are the rivers flowing in India? So about all these things, we are going to learn in this lesson. So uh, be at home, be safe, and do not step out of your home. So keep your term books ready and your pencil also ready. Open page number three hundred and eleven and get ready for the lesson. So if you have an India map, you can just uh, keep it in front of you. Okay? Even I also brought an India map for you. So everything I am going to show you in this. So this is the India map. So in this, I am going to show you little later. So be ready with the textbook. Okay. So lesson number five. Our beautiful country, India. So wherever I am reading, please uh, put your finger over there and listen to me carefully. So I hope all of you are ready with your textbook and your pencil and a map. Okay, so learning objectives. So what we are going to learn in this lesson? Identify the physical features of India. Discuss the features of uh, physical features of India. So we are going to identify where are Himalayas, where are deserts, where there is cold region, where there is hot region, and where there are coastal regions, where there are plateaus and plains. So you all don't know what are plateaus, what are plains, what are coastal regions. Himalayas you might have known. Uh, they are nothing but the hills. Okay, the huge mountains. So about the Himalayas you know very well. But what are coastal areas? What is a desert? And uh, what is a plateau? What is a plain? That you don't know. Yes. So about all these things, uh, detailly we are going to learn about uh, that in this lesson. So. These are nothing but the physical features of India. Now, if you see our body, somewhere like if you see the fingers, the fingers are very hard. Yes, the fingers of our body are little hard. But whereas your cheeks, okay, the cheeks of you are very very soft. Yes. Now in the same way in India also, the land is not same everywhere. Okay, in India the land is not same. Everywhere. So, in few places it is cold, and in few places it's hot, and in few places it's completely there is rainfall, and few places there is no rainfall at all. So, few places there will be thick forest, and in few places you can't even find a small plant. Yes. So, these kind of different land forms are there in India, and these are nothing but we call them as physical features. We call them as physical features. So about these physical features of India, how the land is going to be in different parts of India, we are going to learn. Okay, what are the different physical features and what are they? In detail, we are going to learn. So below that, you have the uh, like warm up is there. So just think about the picture over there. Look at the picture carefully and then. And tell what kind of clothes you will wear in such a place. So this warm up I will give you as a homework, okay? But I am going to explain what to do. Now if you look at this picture, so if you see the picture, there is a small hut made of wood. Yes, and uh, you can see mountains over there, and you can see snowfall over there. Yes, so whenever there is a snowfall, that means it's very very cold. So if it's very very cool over there, what kind of clothes do you wear? You wear woolen clothes. In such a place, we are going to wear the woolen clothes. So you can note down the same thing in the warm-up box. Next, 
Moving on to the lesson. India is a beautiful country. It is located in the continent of Asia. So you all know very well uh, in the previous lessons you have learned that uh, the earth, earth, in the earth we have total seven continents. So in that one of the continent is Asia. So our India belongs to the continent Asia. India is located in Asia. So in which continent India is located? India is located in Asia. China, Russia, all these countries are located in Asia. India is a land of geographical varieties. Like how in India we have different kind of people. There are Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Jainis and Buddhists. So different kind of people are there and so many religious people are there. Yes, like how we have different kind of people in the same way. India's geographical features or we also call it as physical features. So the physical features it has different kind of physical features. Even though India is one but it is a huge country where we can see different kind of landforms. That is the physical features or we also call it as geographical features. So we can find long sandy beaches and uh, snow covered mountains, mountain ranges, then steep plateaus, lush green plains and hot desert within the boundaries of India. So if this is the India map, so a rough diagram I have done, a rough diagram I have done. So what are boundaries? So this corners we call it as boundaries. Okay, whenever you are playing the cricket, so uh, to the surroundings, the boundaries, we call in them as boundaries. So you keep the people over there to catch the ball. Yes. So nothing but the corners of the particular place is called as the boundary. For this duster, what is the boundary? So this is the boundary. For this board, what is the boundary? So this is the boundary. This part is the boundary. So here for India, the line which I have drawn, this is the boundary. Okay. This part is the boundary. So what all we can see in these boundaries? You can see the so much of sandy beaches. So what is a beach? A place where land and ocean is going to meet. And if you see India, this side part is completely covered with land. And whereas from here till here, it's completely covered with water. Okay. So sandy beaches can be seen over this area. Because this is the place where land and water is going to be. And this side all land will be there. Okay. So this side you can see water. So in these places you can see the sandy beaches. So have you visited a beach anytime? So it's very good place and you can see lot of sand over there. Yes. So you can see such kind of sandy beaches. And here you can see mountains. Okay. You know about Mount Everest. You have heard about Mount, uh, Mount Everest. It is the highest peak. Yes, and not only that, uh, we have even cool places also. So in summer season also, it will be very cool over in that places like Kulu, Kulu Manali, Kodai Kenal and all. Yes, so these are the places which we have in India. Then not only that, so here we have Sahara Desert. Yes, so we have desert which is completely filled with sand and it is very very Hot. And towards the northern side we have Himalayas where there is snowfall like Jammu and Kashmir so sometimes there will be snowfall and near to the Delhi also we, have, uh, we can see a cool climate during winter season. This season it is very very cool near the northern side and uh, towards this side we, it is the coastal area and we can see the beaches over here. And we can see normal plains and plateaus. Okay, plains and plateaus are nothing but uh, the even surface. Okay, it is an even surface. So there won't be any mountains or hills in that particular place. It is completely a flat place. Okay, so that kind of places are also present 
in India. So, in India, how we have different kind of people, in the same way, the land of India is also different. So, we have so many rivers flowing in it, we have coastal areas and we have Himalayas, we have hot climate, we have cold climate, we have sandy deserts here. There, is, there are so many places which have a lot of trees where even a human being cannot step in and there are places where not even a single plant grows in that particular place. So all these different types of areas are present in the India. So about this beautiful India we are going to learn in this lesson. Okay, so India is located in Asia. India is located in Asia. And in the previous lesson we have learned how many states are there. So 29 states are there. Yes. So there are total 29 states. And the, all the 29 states are located in India. And this India is located in Asia. Okay. So this is about the geographical features. Now about all these things in detail we are going to learn. Okay, now turn the page. So here you can see the map of India. And uh, the complete map is colored with the different different colors. Yes, so now here on the top you can see brown color. Yes, brown color is there. Now here you can see the different colors in the box. Now where is brown color? It is on the top. Now what is written near the brown color? Northern mountains. That means in this place you can see the mountains. The highest mountains you can see towards wherever there is brown color. So here also you can see little part of brown. So in this particular places you can see the northern mountains. So the mountains are going to be in this way. Yes. So you can see these kind of mountains towards the northern side. Then you have a little light green in color. The northern plains. Plains are nothing but the flat surface. Okay. Plains are flat surface. So wherever there is light green then you can see little, little flat surface. Then yellow colored part. You can see Thar desert. You can see the Thar desert. Desert area is the one which is covered completely with sand. Then you can see the orange colored part. Peninsula plateau. So what is the peninsula? You know it very well. Peninsula is a place where one side is covered with the land and remaining three sides is covered with water. So our India is also a peninsula. So from here till here as I already told you this part is covered with land. Yes. So this part is covered with land and one, two, three. This three parts is covered with water. So from here till here this complete part you can see a peninsula region that is three sides it is covered with water and one side it is covered with land. Then below that you can see a normal green in color and it is coastal plains. So that green color is over here that is what is coastal plain? A place where land and water is going to meet. So this topic also we have covered in first and second lessons. So coastal area is nothing but where a land and water is going to be. Then this dark green in color is there and those are nothing but the islands. And what are islands? A piece of land. Okay, a small piece of land which is surrounded by water. Okay, a piece of land which is surrounded by water. Now here to the bottom side, the southern side of India you see. Here you can see a piece of land. So which, uh, what is this here? It is Sri Lanka. It is Sri Lanka. Now if you see the Sri Lanka and the small islands will be there here. So they are not in contact with India. So they are like little separate and it is completely covered with the water. So here completely it is covered with water on all the sides. So a piece of land which is surrounded by water on all the sides we call it as island. We call it as island. So here S is silent. So we pronounce it as island. We pronounce it as island. So two terms you have learnt in this. A peninsula and an island. So what is peninsula? 
when one part is covered with land and three parts are covered with water then it is called as peninsula and what is an island when a piece of land is completely surrounded by water then we call it as an island so this is about the map over here so we can see different uh, features of the india so here i am going to show you the so here you can see this is india political map this is india political map so in this you can see the heading is there like here maps so about maps you know very well maps and blocks so here the heading is india railways okay india railways so here there is uh, the complete red color line which is going to show the railway track it's going to show the railway track and here you can see india airways and tourism airways is nothing but the air routes that is how you can travel from one place to the other place through the aeroplane or airport okay so in this map you can see all the 29 states you can see all the 29 states and uh, seven union territories and here you can see sri lanka very clearly it's completely covered with water so the blue colored part is water and this white colored part here it is land so if you see the map clearly from here till here it's completely covered with white color that is land and this all remaining part is with blue color okay so three sides it is water and the top side that is the northern side here it is land so india is a peninsula country and here if you see the sri lanka here down it's completely covered with water on all the four sides all the four sides it is covered with water so what do we call such kind of place we call it as an island it is covered with only one side water and three sides uh, uh, one side land and three sides water we call it as peninsula and all the sides water we call it as island so this is about the lesson and the remaining part we are going to see in the next session so in today what you have learned you have learned about the country india so how people are different here in the same way the land form is also different from one place to the other place okay so if this is the india map we live towards the southern side okay we live towards the southern side and this is east and this is west and this is north so different forms we have learned towards the northern side we can see the mountains and here you can see the coastal areas then here you can see the desert and here you can see the uh, thar uh, uh, like plains you can see where it is very flat and not only that we have different landforms where there are so many trees like thick forest and where there is a place where continuous rainfall is there and you can see a desert place where there is no rainfall and not even a single plant grows over there so these are the different land forms of india so how we have different parts in our body our fingers are little hard whereas our cheeks are very very soft so in the same way india also has different land forms so this is about the lesson and we have learned about what is peninsula what is an island and india is located in asia india has total 29 states okay so this is about the lesson and from page number 311 you have warm up that is your homework so the homework is very clear to you i already told you so there is a picture given it is the mountainous place and there is a continuous snowfall so if you go there what kind of clothes do you wear generally in winter only we wear normal wooden clothes so if it is there is lot of snowfall over there so what kind of clothes you are going to wear that you have to write okay so this is about the lesson in the next session we are going to meet and we are going to continue the topic 
So meet you all in the next session. Hope you all have understood this. Thank you.